Saturday Down South reporting USC tried to get out of the game with LSU. And the way this reads on Twitter is that USC is scared of playing LSU and they want to have a softer schedule. And okay, great, USC, they're soft, all this, that, and the other. We're dunking on them before LSU fans. And honestly, that's how it reads on the timeline. I don't fault you for that. I understand that. But I think when you look at this from USC's perspective, we would be wise to maybe consider all the vantage points involved in this. Because as a college football fan, when that game starts, that's going to be incredible. When it's week one, you finish up Saturday, and you realize, oh, Sunday we get USC and LSU in Vegas. There's more. I'm going to be fired up about that. We're going to talk a lot about on that game or about that game on this show. However, the goal for USC is not to make an incredible TV product. Like, that's not Lincoln Riley's goal. It's not Miller Moss's goal. Their goal is to win football games and go compete for a conference title and then ultimately compete for a national title. That is their goal. Same deal as LSU. And so if you look at USC and their schedule, like, yeah, LSU's on there. It's going to be a tough game. But also, it's worth noting that the rest of their schedule is absolutely whack. <laughs> it's whack. you got to go to Michigan. You play Wisconsin. You play Penn State. And, oh, by the way, you play Notre Dame. So if I'm trying to make the college football playoff, I don't think it's unwise to assume that 10-2 and two is probably right around that number you need to have to get in if we're using last year as our litmus test. 9-3 and three was uh, the number 13 ranked team in the country last year. I believe that was LSU, which is, uh, or no, I believe that, yeah, it was LSU. If I'm judging you in a class on your final grade and I tell you ahead of time, hey, that first test that we got to give you, it's going to be the hardest of all the tests. So if you want to find a way to get out of it, if you want to trade that test with someone else, you want to push that to another year, we'll judge you on that grade then, you know, want to take some time to get prepared for it, great. But just know that first test is the toughest. Would you not do everything in your power to try and get out of that test? How many of us, if we were told, hey, we can drop one test score during our years in college, you know the first one's the toughest. Yeah, I'm not even going to show up. I'm going to drop that test. Does it look bad? Absolutely. You know what You know what looks worse is showing up to that test on national television, not being prepared for it, and failing. USC, and I know this wasn't the case two years ago exactly, but they are clearly right now trying to get their feet underneath them. Sounds like the AD Gen Cohen, as late as this past fall, was trying to get out of this game. New conference, new DC, new defensive staff, new quarterback. A lot of newness with this team. I don't blame them for wanting to try and set themselves up for success in 2024. I think if you were to tell me they get LSU in a future season and maybe it's going to line up to where they have a, a softer conference schedule, if that's somehow the way the cards fall for USC, I don't know how they would. Okay, great. But I don't fault Lincoln Riley for saying we want to win football games and us playing LSU does not help us when it comes to our postseason aspirations, more likely than not. So say what you want about Lincoln Riley. Say what you want about how this reads, but I do not believe by any stretch of the imagination that anyone in that locker room is like, oh man, I hope we don't play LSU. Like I promise you, as a competitor, as someone who's in a college football locker room, you're not thinking about, wow, I don't want to play that team. You're like, bring it on. We think we're one of the best. Internally, we have confidence in ourselves. Let's roll. Let's get after it. So I get it. I understand where Lincoln Riley's coming from. I don't think anyone's being soft. I don't think anyone's being scared. I think it's just, honestly, a good business decision if you're USC. And the fact they didn't get out of it, though, I am, as a college football fan, selfishly pretty fired up about. So we'll get this game week one, but some, uh, some storyline juice there from Saturday Down South talking about USC trying to get out of that game with LSU. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.